morning media art student. Uh, today I'd like you to experiment with Google Drawing. This will be leading up to an assignment, but before we get to the assignment, I'd like you to create a Google Drawing. So, first of all, you go up to your app, which gives you uh, access to your drive. So click on your drive, and that's where you are, well, where I am now. You're going to click New, and then you're going to go down to More, and then you see you have more options. So I have already clicked Google Drawing, and I have that open in the new tab. So don't forget to title your drawing. So I'm going to highlight it and say Drawing 1. So you can see that I've already inserted a picture from my background. And you could do that by clicking Image and then using a photo that you have saved on your computer, but there are other options too. So you see here, you can choose an image to upload by URL, your albums, Google Drive, etc. So I just quickly grabbed an image, and then there are a whole, um, a whole bunch of different tools to use. So depending on how you want to play, that's what I, that's all I want you to do. I want you to play to see what's what's uh, what's possible here, and then when you're done your drawing. Have at least five different elements in your drawing, like text. Let's see, here's the text box. You can create a text box over top. And then work with your font. You see that you have the, the normal font options up here. There are shapes that you can use here. And there are different colors available. So anyway, that's all I want you to do is to practice getting comfortable with Google Drawing. Have at least five elements in your first drawing. Make, make it as ugly as you want to. And then post that drawing up to your blog. And I think that there is actually a way to embed it. I think if you publish it to the web, and then you click on Embed, and then Publish, well, I'm not really sure I want to publish this one, but I'll do it for now. Then you copy that embed code, and when you create your blog post, you click on HTML, paste that code there, go back to uh, your blog post and publish it, and you should see the drawing embedded into your post. So, that's what I'd like you to try. And I'll be taking a look at your blog post tomorrow to see how it